Ragnarok is a fantasy drama series that has been released on Netflix and I will tell you that two seasons of this series have been released and I have already reviewed season 1. You will easily get that video on my channel and now let's talk about season 2. Total 6 episodes and every episode is between 40 to 50 minutes and if any of you have not seen the season 1 of this series yet. Then first see season 1 because the story of season 1 has been continued in season 2 and the start of season 2 is from where season 1 ended so let's talk about what is good and what is bad in season 2 without wasting any time. If we talk about good things, then to be honest, I did not enjoy watching season 2, which I expected because especially the way season 1 ended. After that I felt that season 2 would be very intense and thrilling and we will also get to see a lot of action in season 2 because we did not get to see any special action in season 1. The whole time of season 1 was spent on building the world of characters and shows, which is a good thing and in season 2 you will also get to see more growth in the main characters of this show especially the family dynamics of Mangana and his family and the family dynamics of the giants and you will also get to see a lot of growth and the dynamics between Mangana and his brother Lawrence and the change. We got to see in the character of Lawrence in season 2 was really good and some new interesting characters have also been introduced to us in season 2 and you will also get to know more about Norse mythology and once again, season 2 has ended in the same way. Which is a good thing, the performances of the rest of the actors are decent, the music of the show is good and the overall production quality of the show is very good, especially the locations in which the show has been shot. The locations make the show visually very interesting and beautiful, which I like to see. Now let's talk about the weak points of season 2. So the first thing that disappointed me was that you will not get to see any special action in season 2 and the second story of season 2 will definitely come to you in an interesting direction. But the story has been directed a little more in my opinion and the story is moving forward in a slow pace, which made me feel a little bit of the overall length of season 2 and yes, you will easily get to see a lot of action in this series then you will definitely be a little disappointed after watching the show. Anyway, I will rate the season 2 of the series 7 out of 10 and I hope that you will get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes. To see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action in season 2 and yes, you will definitely get to see a lot of action. <laughs> Oh,